All right, fill in the blank. That game was crazy. Yeah, no, it was, it was the craziest game I've ever been a part of in my life, for sure. Yeah, I don't even. It's yeah, it ain't got words to describe it. Yeah, I've heard that from a couple of people that never right. been a part of that craziest game ever. I mean, what what what's it like? How do you describe those last five minutes? What are the emotions for you guys when it's, it's you're winning? There, you know. Yeah, no, it was a roller coaster. Um, it was it was it was crazy. Just because we felt like. You know, we, we messed up. You know, we missed it. You know, we missed the mark. That's what we felt like um, up until the very last second of the game. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was, guys were down. It, we felt like we were out of it. But, I mean, that just goes to show that in the NFL, man, you just never know. You just really, really never know. So it's just key to keep on, keep locked in and keep going. But, no, that one, that one was crazy. You, you walk away with the win. Are there any areas that you think, okay, here are the areas, you know, we got to work on, and it's, it's great to say that after a win? Oh, yeah, most definitely, yeah. It's a lot easier to, to correct your mistakes after you win than, than an L, for sure. Um, no, there's definitely lots of things that we can work on. Um, I mean, just across the board, all three phases, I think, but defense especially. Um, we we missed, missed a couple things today um, that we know we can be better at, uh, for sure. So we'll get those cleaned up before L.A. comes down here. We talked about it earlier in the week, but I mean, you have you know Cornell, you had Mike in there for a while, you got D in there for a while, you got Darren, uh, you, got, you know D, you had a lot of guys playing, you know, for uh, due to the injuries in the secondary. What can you say about that group? So many guys stepping up. Yeah, no, it's just a resilient group. Um, we knew that as a group with a lot of depth um, coming into the season. We knew that in training camp, preseason games, and everything like that. So we knew if a time like this came, that we'd be ready for it and we'd be able to you know manage it and and, and make plays still. But hopefully we get a couple guys back this week, get a little healthier. Um, so, yeah, no, it'd be good. But, um, man, I'm proud of all the guys, for sure, stepping up, playing more than they normally play, for sure. Um, and they all play well, so it's good. Last thing for you, you got, you know, the, the, the game lead in the division. I know there's a whole lot of season left, like yes. we talked about this week, but just how satisfying is that to, to be where you guys are with still room to grow and get healthier, but to be at the top of the division? Yeah, no, it's a good spot. Um, but like you said, I mean, there's just a lot of games left. We know that a lot of things can change. We just got to really focus on ourselves, focus on getting better each week, each day, um, and, and just get that next win. All right, Jake, fill in the blank. That game was? <laughs> Something I've never been a part of before. But, man, couldn't be more happy with the way it uh, turned out, you know. So just a crazy game. Um, the way it went back and forth, you know. All I can say is I'm happy we came out on top because I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Yeah, how do you describe the roller coaster of emotions? Two lead changes, you got a long touchdown, an interception, turnover, on downs, game winning field goal all in the last three minutes and six seconds. Exhausting. <laughs> that would be my first word. But um, man, I, I really I can't be more proud of the guys in this room, especially the O line and the way we fought and the um, plan we had coming in today. The, you know, the fact that we got it done, there's stuff to improve, but man, it, it's really hard to win in the NFL. And, and especially in a game like that where it went back and forth so many times, um, I think it was a really, really big win for us. Look at it, big picture. You're one of the few players in this locker room who's been on this team when you've been in first place. You guys are now back in first place with a lot to play, but how nice is that? Yeah, this is where we want to be. These are expectations. Um, so there's no looking back. We got to keep building off this. And, uh, you know, the goal is to stay here now. It means nothing if we, you know, are only here for a little while. So um, a lot more work to get done, but we're definitely going to enjoy this one tonight. What did you think of Marcus's day today to, to be able to, you know, run two minute offense, go there and take the lead, have the touchdown, have that 30 yard scramble? And he had some moments I'm sure he'd want back as well. But what did you think of Marcus's day? I Man, I, I couldn't be more proud of him. And the player he is, the, the guy is as well. Um, he, he's got that personality that you want to do really well for him um, just because of uh, how well he takes care of us and uh, the type of attitude he brings into work every day. And, um, man, I couldn't be happier. He's our quarterback, and I think he played great today. You know? Last question for me, Jake, is how valuable is it to, like you said, I think in your first answer, get the win and obviously have some, some areas to build upon. I'm sure you, you, know, you can point out and coaches can point out, but to come away with the win and have some room to improve. Yeah. Um, you know, like, you, like I said earlier, it, it's hard enough to win in the NFL as it is, but um, there, there's definitely stuff we can improve on. And the fact that we're still, still able to pull out this win, um, you know, it definitely was all three phases working together. Defense getting a, sto a score, special teams preventing a couple kicks. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without the team effort. And But like you said, there's stuff we can improve really in all three phases as well. So I think we keep sharing those things up. Hopefully we'll have some easier wins than the ones today, but... <laughs> You know, I can't say enough. We'll take this one. We're very, very excited about it. All right, here in the Falcons locker room with running back Caleb Huntley. Fill in the blank. That game was? It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
how do you describe those last three minutes, man? Two lead changes, you got the, their long touchdown, overtime. How do you describe that? Man, there was a lot of emotions. Uh, after this one, I might have to give me a bottle of tequila. I don't even drink, so it was real crazy. I, th I think you guys earned it if you wanted to take it up today. What do you see out of your quarterback today, right? Maybe start a little slow. He gets 12 straight completions, has an interception, but then he has a 30-yard scramble to set you guys up for the game winner. He didn't quit. Um, football is, you know, a game of, you know, back and forth plays. And I feel like he just stayed in the game and did what he was supposed to do to secure the win for us. Um, it's all about not getting rattled, and I feel like he showed that today. How about the running game today? You have 91 yards as a team, 167. What was so effective for you guys? Just, you know, stick it to the basics. Uh, trusting the aiming points, uh, trusting our tracks, and the O-line did a good job of uh, plowing them off the ball and creating holes for us. All right, I got to go back to the finish again. Take us on the sideline. For all the fans that are sitting at home, going back and forth, standing, screaming, yelling, cheering, what's it like on the sideline as a player in the game with all those swings? It's, it's crazy, like, you can't get too high, you can't get too low. You just got to be locked in for every situation because you never know if you might have to go in or whatever. But it's just a lot of mixed emotions. I was just glad that we could be able to finish and get that win. Sure, there's going to be a lot of things that coaches can point to as ways to improve even after a win. Anything that stands out in your mind as, hey, glad we got the win, but here's an area we can work on moving forward? Um, just starting faster, you know, mm -hmm. just when we get our opportunity to come out and we got the ball, we got to make the other team pay, and we will. Um, every game is not going to be perfect, but that's why we practice, so we can at least chase perfection, even though we will never be perfect, you know. Um, we just got to stick to the plan and keep going. That said, first place in the NFC South, I know there is a long, long, long way to go, but how does that feel? It feels great, you know. Um, I know coming from last year, uh, we wasn't in this position just to see the growth in this team and, Everybody, uh, you know, in like a, a brotherly love type of atmosphere, I feel like that's what's creating us uh, getting those wins. Last thing for you, Caleb. I've talked to you after a couple games, man. You just seem like emotionally exhausted after this one. Was it just that game just takes it out of you coming in here after that? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just, like I said, it was up and down. Um, it was times where I was in, out cheering on my boys. Just after this, I'm going to have to go to sleep. Or I don't know what I'm going to do after this, but I'm definitely going to lay it down and relax. All right, here in the Falcons locker room with linebacker Michael Walter, have you ever been part of a game quite like that? Uh, I can't say I have. That was, that was, honestly, that was a crazy experience. I mean, going on year three, I've never even seen nothing like that. How do you describe those final three minutes or so, the end of the game, overtime? How, how do you put that into words? I mean, it was a roller coaster. I mean, ups, the highs, the lows. But it's something that we preach about just staying ready and never giving up. So we're going to fight to the very end regardless of what it looks like. And, I mean, shoot, we thought we were down and out twice and came back and able to get the win. What did you see? What did it look like? Not to harp on the negative, but i got to ask on that long touchdown they had there. What, what kind of happened there? What can you guys learn from that situation? Uh, we just got to understand the situation. You know, obviously just get back and, and be more, a little bit more man. You know, we were in the zone. You know, treat like man a little bit more. Just get back and make sure that we you know, stop that from happening next time. Just understand the situations. You get a lot of guys, you know, on defense, especially in the secondary, stepping up with the injuries you were dealing with. You know, they put up some yards in this one, but what do you think of the defense overall? I mean, I love these guys. I mean, these guys fly around, never quit. It um, doesn't matter what the score is. It could be 50-0 to zero or we could be up. You know, these guys are never going to quit. So I just I love being a part of this defense, and it's just contagious. You know, when somebody makes a play, and nobody else wants to make a play. I mean, I think this defense is really close, so. To be sitting at first place now in the division with more than half of the season to go, I know there's a, a long ways, but ha how satisfying is that to you know pull up the standings on your phone and see the Falcons at the top? Yeah, I mean for the guys who've been here for a couple years now, I mean it feels great, you know. I mean being able to be in first place, I know we got a lot to go, but our, our message in the locker room is uh, don't look back. So be in first place right now, and let's not give it back. Last question for me, Michael, is you guys come in the locker room after that that crazy experience. What are you guys talking about? Are you are you are you kind of comparing stories out there for all the fans that were you know riding the roller coaster at home? What were you guys doing right when you came in? Yeah, you know, in a football game, everybody has their point of view. What's going on? So I mean, some things get exaggerated a little bit, but I mean, it's just it's just crazy. I mean, some of these guys, we still we're still kind of up. You know, we hadn't came down yet. So um, I'm mean, just happy to celebrate with these guys and glad we got the win. Probably number one right now. Um, just from the highs and lows and the things that happen in this game, you know, from the hail mary that you know the quarterback threw. You know, it's definitely one of the top top games that I, the craziest games I've been a part of. But you know, that's the NFL, man. You always got a team that's gonna be willing to fight to the end, and they they definitely fought to the end. So I'm just happy for the guys to be able to pull out and be able to get a win. You know, it just lets you know about the resiliency from the from the guys that's in this locker room. You know, we didn't give up as well. So and um, kudos to Cool for ending the game for us. What are you thinking when you see that ball come out of Walker's hands? When you see him get out of the pocket, I guess first of all. First of all, I mean. 
you couldn't throw a better throw than that. I, I, I mean, you, even some of the top quarterbacks, I, I've never seen a throw that. Longest that was, in the air since 2006. Yeah, I've never seen a, I've never seen a, a ball that, that hung in the air for that long. And, I mean, the receiver literally didn't have to come back or anything. He, he just dropped right in his hands. So, you know, you got to give kudos to that guy, man. He, he, he threw a hell of a ball. But, you know, I'm just happy that we were able to come out with a win. Are you a guy that's watching the PAT and the field goal at the end, or do you have your back turned? And your it was in between. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I I was acting like I didn't want to watch it, but I still was watching it through, through the, through the uh, TV. It was a TV uh -huh. right over there in the area. So um, once I heard everybody cheer, I was like, look, I, you know, I, I was just so happy about the fact that we won. So mm -hmm. first place in the NFC, mm -hmm. what does that mean, right, NFC South? What does that mean right now? Well, it means a lot. Um, you know, you definitely feel excited and feel you know good about being number one. But you know, the, the hardest thing right now is to maintain it and be there and stay there. Um, you know, we still got a lot of good games that are coming up that we got to win for us to be able to place for the playoffs. So, um, you know, we just got to make sure we heal up, get some of our guys, you know, back to be able to, to full strength. And, you know, I think we'll be an even, even better team then. Thank you, Rashad. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys play, you know, 60 minutes a week, and you yeah. run into like the world's best athletes all day. But how emotionally exhausting was that? It was definitely emotionally exhausting. I mean, you know, we had Dean. He was like, man, please don't give me another heart attack. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, just to be able to, um, you know, handle that physically and also mentally, be able to kind of, you know, go from that hail mary and then kind of lock back in and be able to be like, all right, we got to still play and you know help win this game. You know, it just shows you what type of guys we got in this locker room. You know. Most teams will crumble, most teams would just give up, but you know, we didn't give up and we were able to come out with a win.